In the previous video, I focused more on the technical principles behind the grid firewall and the methods of bypassing them. So, which is better, VPN or SOX5? And what exactly is an airport? In this video, I hope to explain it all in one go. I plan to make multiple episodes of videos with some time gaps between each episode. If you are planning to stay in China for a period of time, taking a few minutes to watch this video will be very helpful to you. VPN can provide individuals and business with a safer, more reliable, and convenient internet environment, which is why it is widely used by many individuals and corporate users. In the context of bypassing the grid firewall, many people are familiar with the term VPN. However, in recent years, the term airport has become increasingly popular. But here, airport does not refer to the usual airports we travel to by plane. It refers to platforms or websites that provide special encrypted internet access nodes. In the past, these service providers mainly used the ShadowSox and ShadowSox R protocols to provide services. The reason they are called airports is that the icon of the early ShadowSox client was a small airplane. That's why when netizens mention airport, they are not referring to VPN but to these platforms or websites that provide special internet access methods. However, because many people started using VPN for bypassing the grid firewall initially, over time, VPN has become synonymous with bypassing the grid firewall, including airports. So, when you find someone calling an airport a VPN, it's okay. Currently, many popular VPN clients in China actually have built-in airport nodes and use common SS, SSR, V2Ray, children bypassing protocols. They are called VPNs for the sake of being easier to remember. As mentioned before, VPN is not specifically designed for bypassing the grid firewall, but is a tool used in enterprise network services. On the other hand, an airport is a provider that specifically offers bypassing firewall node services. The protocols provided by the airport, such as SS, SSR, v 2 Trojan, are designed specifically for bypassing the grid firewall. In addition to the early ShadowSox protocol, in recent years, newer bypassing protocols like v 2 and Trojan have emerged, which have been optimized for bypassing firewalls and are more efficient and lightweight compared to VPN. Generally, VPN has its own complete client software, while airports mostly do not have their own clients and usually rely on third-party clients, such as the popular Clash client, available for Windows, Mac, Android, and iOS platforms, and the Shadow Rocket client, available for iOS platforms. In this episode, I introduced the concept of Airport, which is actually a provider of SOX5 proxy services for bypassing the Great Firewall. Summing up the previous four videos, I primarily explained the principles behind the firewall and the method of bypassing them. These contents serve as a foundation for the upcoming videos. Once you have a certain understanding of these technical principles, you will be able to better grasp the need for bypassing the grid firewall within China and choose more effective and convenient ways to do so. So, in different scenarios, how should foreigners use Climb the Wall tools to have a better user experience? Next, I will introduce two different bypassing scenarios, software-based bypassing and hardware-based bypassing. If my videos have been helpful to you, I hope you can give them a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel.